All right, so this week I have absolutely nothing prepared. I did no work on any of my cars. I haven't put anything together to, to really make any type of entertaining video. However, I have been searching for a home for the better part of three and a half, four months now. And if you're looking for a house right now, you know the housing market sucks, especially if you're a car guy. So I thought, okay, let me think about this in terms of overall budget, right? So people that are in the you know two hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollar range, that's usually a big spread. Let's just go for the full Monty and let's look at what a million dollars will get you as a car guy in several states in the United States of America. Now here's the thing, obviously these are just small samples of different houses in the in the market. It's not like every house at this price level in the respective state is gonna be like this. But I have to start and lead off with the most wonderful automotive performance friendly state in the United States, California. So if you have a million dollars in California, what will it purchase you? What will you purchase? What will you be a what purchase will you be able to how many purchases would a purchase chuck chuck so if you're in california and you want to have a place to work on your car and live and you got a million bucks this is what you can purchase and it, let me start also by saying i'm not hating on any of these houses um actually pretty much the only house that would be construed as me hating on would be this california house because it is eight hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars and it is a, just a touch over 1,700 square foot on a lot that is 5,000 square feet. So take a look at some of these pictures and let me know, you know, how you feel in the comment section as I'm rambling on about this California estate. You could see the two car garage earlier and the living space in, inside. You have a back patio with some uneven, looks like super dangerous, like a brick situation that could get deadly pretty quick. And, and also the neighbor situation, it, I feel like I'd, if they're getting busy next door, I am hearing every single mac and cheese sloshing style sound with, with how close this is. So 900 grand in LA sucks. Oh, it sucks. Oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, it would be very tough for me to do. And again, I hate to hate on it, but no, no thanks. Um, and now we're going to take a journey to Kansas. I have never wanted to go to, I've ne like, uh, what do I say about Kansas? <laughs> Either way, here's a house in Kansas that's priced extremely similar to what you just saw, but it comes with a couple features that the other house didn't. And I'll be honest, I think it may be a little bit more set up for me than the other house. All right, so this is, this is the Kansas house. And it's priced at eight ninety nine nine, so similar to the other. And also, it's got a big old driveway and a huge detached garage. Sits on like an acre and a half. The inside is really nice. Look at that fireplace. I could just cozy up, read a book, just vibe out. I think that's what kids say. And then if you look at the ceiling, the rafters are like all super. I mean, that I don't. I feel like I would. That's like a don't sit anywhere in this room. Room. But it also has 4,800 square foot of living space, a bar, a cellar. And if you're trying to get wild, you want to look a little party situation, it does have an in-ground pool. But that's not really what I'm super stoked on. The thing I'm most stoked on about this house is it's priced the same as the L.A. house. But it also does come with a freaking air hanger, an airport air, air pl plane hanger. And it also has an airstrip in the community. For the same, you have any idea how many burners, how many burn skis I'd be doing on that airstrip as they're trying to land? How about you get out of my way, Hank, you dick? I'm not even, like, exaggerating in the least amount. I would, I, oh my god, can you imagine the HOA meeting? I bet they'd be talking. They would for sure be salty at me. But at, at any rate, that, you compare those two off the bat, and it's kind of like California house, Can Kansas. <laughs> There's no place like home. The other thing that honestly surprised me in this search was how many ridiculous homes there are in Oklahoma. Oklahoma has some wild, wild, wild houses. This next one, there 
it's it's priced more expensive. It's uh, nine hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars. So, you know, work a couple extra shifts at the Blockbuster to save pennies and just you know throw you know make the payment on that. Um, but it's nine hundred and seventy nine thousand bucks. It sits on a little bit more property, and I I feel like it's worth the extra eighty grand over the other two. And I hope you feel the same way. I could be wrong. I might be in left field and you're in center field, but we'll have to find out in just a second as you look at this ridiculous, ridiculous situation. So off the bat, you know, a nice quaint front door, nothing crazy, just a nice humble home, a couple lanterns on either side of the nice brick pillar, really well done. You got a little owl, 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 little owl statue there, hoo hoo, greeting your guests, just, you know. Saying hi, getting the vibe, putting the vibe out. You got a little garage, you know, two car plus a little single on the side. That's neat. You also got a vault. Like, I don't look at the vault over there. What's in there? I don't know. But here's the thing that really blows my mind. What in the hell? Look at that. Look at that. Oklahoma stand up. 979. And look at this garage. What? What? 80 grand more. I'm sorry, man. Oklahoma takes it over Kansas. I don't even know what I would put in this garage. I mean, it's very well sized. I guess I could get a fire truck, a couple, I could maybe an Abrams. I think a, an Abrams is a tank, right? And if you're not, you know, I want to be in the garage so much, just hang out by the in ground pool because it's got one of those two facing the ridiculous garage. It's just insane. <laughs> just, uh, just like. <laughs> scrolling through the pictures that they post because you'll notice the cheaper houses the ones that i can afford uh they church up the pictures like crazy wide angle lens and all this stuff to try to make it look nicer than it is you notice any of the seven figure homes it's just like they pull the polaroid out and they're like chink done chink done this is fine get the xerox and let's put the pictures up because they know it's just going to show insane i didn't even mention square footage or anything in that last house because it was just too much as it was now, we're moving from Oklahoma. Let's get out of Oklahoma. Let's head to the East Coast. And let's, let's just take a look at what a similar price range gets you in South Carolina. Now, this house in South Carolina is a little more expensive. Um, actually, it's less expensive than Oklahoma. It's $930,000. So, again, the bar has been set. Remember back, the California house, $899,000. This is $31,000 more than the California house. It is roughly six used SN95s more than the California house. And this one is a front runner for one of my favorites, but I'm going to save my favorite for last. But check this one out because it's it's still equally as ridiculous. There's no way for me to like stair step you into this. So here's an aerial shot of this. 930 grand. Look at the entryway. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's huge open space. They, they have so many chairs. There's so many chairs. I don't have, and I don't even know enough people to fill these chairs. Chairs here, chairs there, chairs everywhere. You got a, like a drum session room just to annoy your neighbors. And then also, this is the thing that got me. They entertain here. Look at this. They throw like soirees. Now, you still need a garage, which is cool because it does have a three car attached, which is one of my concerns when I buy a $930,000 house or this massive shop. Look at I think it's better because inside the shop, it's decked out. Look at the floors. Look at the lighting. Oh, my God. It's just everything you could ever want out of a house wrapped up into a giant South Carolina badass estate. This is sick. And as far as space, this thing sits on 30 acres. So it was built in the 08. It's on 30 acres of land. It was built for like a bed and breakfast originally. And then I, I'm not going to read the whole description. I'm just going to assume that the dude finished it and was like, you know what? I don't want strangers staying at my house. So I'm going to just uh, not do the whole bed and breakfast thing because I feel like that's exactly what I would do if I was in their shoes. The whole parcel is 51 acres. What? I have to remind you, go back to the beginning of the video and look at the $899,000 Los Angeles home. And then think about maybe I should spend five more SN95s worth of money and see about buying a 30 acre bed and breakfast extravaganza adventure. Man, I just want to be rich. And uh, on that note, I'm going to wrap this series up. It's a little 10, 15 minute jaunt. 
with the home that I think is killer. And it's a tough race. The South Carolina house is sick. Actually, all of them except the California house is are just insane. The final home, though, I just really dig it. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. And I'm not going to keep yapping without showing it to you because I'm really excited to just debut it and show it off. So this comes in at $875,000. So you can see some of the finer points of the inside of the home and the architecture, the layout. I'm sorry I'm going so fast through all these pictures, but I really think you should get to the meat and the potatoes. Coming up, you're going to see a little hint outside that window, a little mountainous. I like the separation here. This is like a sneeze guard for kids. I keep the kids away and then shove them into the library that you have with one of those ladders that I always wanted to just ride around like a maniac, but they never let me on them because I was too fat as a kid. One day I'll get one and I'll break it myself. Now, it only has a four-car attached garage, so that kind of sucks. I wonder if the ATV comes with, but it doesn't matter because what? Look at this spread. $875,000 in Wyoming, in the middle of nowhere, it looks like. 15 acres of land, and it is only eight seven. It's less than the California house, and it has a massive, massive detached garage. I freaking love this thing. I really do. I think I could live here forever. I would never need anything. I would just maybe, maybe internet. I could probably, I need the internet. But other than that, this is it. Look at that. I could hunt uh, whatever is grazes in, in Wyoming. What, 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 what do you hunt in Wyoming? I'm sure there's good hunting in Wyoming and everyone in the comments is going to be like, I can't believe you never hunted a wild bull elk, El Camino in Wyoming, you moron. It's great out in Wyoming. The goal of this video the overall thesis of this video is to make you feel poor because that's that's what I'm left with. I'm sitting back and I'm looking through some of these homes and I'm realizing that I have a lot more YouTubing to do if I ever want to end up in something like that. The All the houses are, except for the California house, all the houses are awesome and I can't imagine living in any of them. The Wyoming house, I, I just really like the idea of living in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, and hunting bull el caminos <laughs> but at any rate thank you for tuning in i'm going to start doing these regularly and shout out to everybody that went on and got sweatshirts and whatever from the store every dime counts towards getting our wyoming spread tune in on thursdays and tuesdays tuesdays and thursdays we have new drops every week appreciate everybody you all have a blessed day which is this is the this people that do do this and then they stand on the cars and they're part of like the jaded mob or whatever, like the, the cruise, the stance cruise, stance crew.